Welcome to the tutorial on removing a car from the background using Photoshop. In this video, I will guide you through the step by step process, making it easy for anyone to accomplish. First, we will remove everything from the photo, including the car and the main subject, to get a clean background. Next, we will skillfully place the subject back into the background without the car, ensuring a seamless integration. Then, we will refine the hair sharing valuable tips and techniques for realistic results after that we will focus on fixing the edges to create a smooth transition between the subject and the background enhancing the realism finally we will add any necessary particles or details to the complete the photo enhancing the visual appeal throughout the video i will share handy tips and tricks to help you master this technique watch the entire video to fully grasp the process and make the most of the knowledge. Let's dive right into the tutorial. For step 1, we will use the lasso tool to select both the car and the main subject in a way that allows for some overlapping with the surrounding areas. This will help us achieve a better resultant image and ensure seamless blending. To begin, select the lasso tool from the Photoshop toolbar. With the tool active, carefully draw a loose selection around the car and the main subject and remember to include some areas beyond the actual subjects to facilitate a more natural blending effect. Once you have made the selection, a contextual taskbar will appear. Locate and click on the generative fill. Leave the options blank as the Photoshop will use the surrounding areas to fill in the selection. Now click on the generate button. You will now see the thumbnail previews of the variations that Photoshop has generated. Take your time to review them. Based on my preferences, I like the second variation. Next, select the layer mask associated with the generative layer and delete it. This will allow the newly generated image to be visible without any masking effect. Finally, rename the generative layer as background for easy identification. In the next steps, we will proceed with the placing the subject in the new background. Moving on to step 2, we will temporarily hide the background layer and focus on extracting the subject from the image. Locate and click on the select subject button. This quick action automatically selects the subject in your photo based on intelligent analysis by Photoshop. Next, turn on the visibility of the background layer. The subject selection should still be active. Now we need to create a mask for this subject. Hold the Alt or Option key and click on the layer mask icon located at the bottom of the layers panel. This will create a mask based on the subject selection. At this point, it is a good idea to zoom in on the image to inspect the edges. You might notice that the edges are not well defined or might contain rough edges. However, there is no need to worry as we will address these issues in the subsequent steps. In step 3, we will focus on refining the hair details which used to be a challenging task in photo editing. However, with the advancements in the AI technology, it has become much easier to achieve accurate and natural looking results. To start, use the lasso tool to make a selection around the hair. Take care to include all the intricate details and strands as accurately as possible. Once you have made the selection, click on the generate to fill button. In the input field, type hair blondie to specify the desired hair color. Then click on the generate button. The AI will generate three different outputs for the hair based on the provided input. Take your time to review each of them and evaluate their naturalness and overall appearance. In this case, I like the first output the most as it looked natural and beautiful. By selecting the most favorable output, we can proceed with incorporating it into the image. This step significantly simplifies the process of refining hair details, ensuring that the final result appears realistic and visually appealing. In step 4, we will focus on refining the edges of the composition to achieve clean and smooth results. This technique will help eliminate any jagged 
or rough edges and give your image a professional and polished appearance. To begin select the layer mask associated with the background layer. We can do this by clicking on the layer mask thumbnail in the layers panel. Next select the brush tool from the Photoshop toolbar. Ensure that the foreground color is set to black. As we will be painting over the areas to add back the original elements into the composition. Here is the handy trick to achieve clean edges. Enable the quick mask mode. You can do this by clicking on the quick mask icon located at the bottom of the tools panel or by pressing the letter Q on your keyboard. Once in quick mask mode, adjust the brush size by pressing the bracket keys to make it appropriate for the edges you are working on. With black color selected as the foreground color, start painting along the edges, precisely covering any jagged or imperfect areas. After you have painted over the edges, click on the quick mask icon again to disable it. Now you will see the selection based on the painted areas. To invert the selection, click on the inverse icon located in the toolbar or press the keyboard shortcut shift plus ctrl plus i or shift plus command plus i. With the inverted selection active, click on the generate to fill button, leave the text prompt box blank and then click on generate. This process will use the surrounding areas to fill in the selected regions resulting in smooth and refined edges. Similarly repeat the same process for the other edge. Turn on quick mask mode, paint along the edges with black color selected. Then turn off quick mask mode. Inverse the selection and apply the generate to fill by clicking on generate. By following this technique, you can fix jagged edges and achieve clean professional looking results. It is a handy trick to enhance the overall quality of your composition. I hope you find this trick helpful in refining the edges of your image. In the final step, we will add any missed particles to complete the photo. In step 5, we will add blue particles to enhance the overall composition. First select the background layer and take the brush tool. Make sure to select the layer mask associated with the background layer. Using the brush, paint over the areas where you want to add the blue particles. This will effectively incorporate them into the photo and create a visually appealing effect. As we paint, you may notice that the original core might also be revealed. We don't want the core to be visible. So switch to the using the white color with the brush and paint over those areas to hide the car, car parts again. However, if you feel that there are fewer bluish particles in the original image compared to what you desire, we can utilize AI to add more particles. To begin, hide all the layers except the original background. With only the background layer visible, take the lasso tool and make a rough selection in the areas where you want to add the particles. Now turn on all the layers. Click on the generate to fill button and type sky blue particles in the text box. Click on generate to see the AI generated variations. Review the results and I like the second output. If you still feel that the particles are not sufficient, you can generate again to explore other variations until you find the desired quantity and appearance. Once you have selected the suitable output incorporating the desired bluish particles, you have successfully completed this step. Congratulations, you have now added blue particles to the photo, enhancing its visual appeal. In the final step, we will focus on matching the details and effects of the generated content with the original photo to ensure an authentic and cohesive result. We will make adjustments using camera raw filter and smart filters to enhance the sharpness and grain of the generative layers. To begin, select the layer thumbnail of generative layer 4 and open it in the camera raw filter. Once in the camera raw filter, open the detail settings. Here, increase the sharpening to match the level of details in the original photo. A value of 75% is suggested as a starting point, but feel free to adjust it according to your preference. 
Additionally, you can adjust noise reduction and color noise reduction if necessary. Next, go to the effect settings and increase the grain to match the original photo. A value of around 10% is generally sufficient, but you can adjust it based on your desired level of grain. After making these adjustments, click OK to confirm the changes and apply them to the layer. You will notice that the simple adjustments has helped fix the softness of the generative content, allowing it to perfectly match the original details. To apply similar adjustments to the other generative layers, hold the Alt or Option key. Click and drag the Smart Filter from Generative Layer 4 to Generative Layer 1, Generative Layer 2, Generative Layer 3 and the Generated Background Layer. This action duplicates the Smart Filter settings and makes it non-destructive, allowing you to open each Smart Filter and customize the settings as per your preference. To keep the layers organized, consider renaming them Renaming layers helps maintaining clarity and makes it easier to make changes or adjustments later on. Finally, take a moment to see the difference between before and after transformation of the image. We have successfully completed the entire process of removing the core from the background and refining the image. And remember to save your work and feel free to make any additional adjustments or refinements as needed. That's all for this video guys, I hope you found it helpful and informative. For more photoshop tips, tricks and techniques, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching, please like, share and comment. See you guys in my next video, take care, happy editing.